Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little pillowcase dress. So let's get started. And in the back I sew the straps together in the center back because that will prevent them from falling off the shoulders. I have this vintage pillowcase that I got at the thrift store for 50 cents. So today I'm going to use this to show you how to make the easiest pillowcase dress. And now I have moved over to my ironing board and the first thing I'm going to do is fold this pillowcase down and then I'm going to press across so that gives me a really good line to follow it and I turned my pillowcase over and there's a nice crease that I have to follow so now I'm going to fold it again because I want to make a casing so I'm going to fold it over approximately two inches and I'm going to press across on that line so now I have a crease here and I have a crease here and I'm going to be turning this under a bit when I do my seam so now I'm just going to cut about a half an inch past the second crease line. I'm going to use this piece to make my straps and now I'm going to turn this crease to the inside iron that down like that and I've got that all ironed down and now I'm going to turn this part inside like that and now I'm going to sew a seam here and then I'm going to sew another seam up here approximately the width of my elastic and then I'll come back and show you okay I've gone all the way across and I sewed right along the bottom of that crease and then I made another seam about half an inch higher and there's the opening where I left the seam open to be able to pass the elastic through and I don't think you can see that very well and now I'm going to fold this in half so this is going to be the center back and then in the front I'm going to fold this over to meet the center and I'm going to iron a crease there and here okay so now I have creases here and that's where I'm going to position the front strap and this is where I'm going to position the front strap on the other side and there's where I'm going to position the back strap in the center So now with the section that I had left over, I'm going to cut straps and I'm going to fold this in half like that and just give it a press and then I'm going to cut down along this line and then I'm going to turn it right side in. and I'm going to sew a seam along here okay I have both of my straps sewn I'm just going to cut them apart and I'm going to attach a safety pin at this end and turn them right side out and press okay I have pinned my straps on and I centered the strap on that line that I had ironed there and here and in the back I brought the two ends lined them right up to that crease that I had ironed as the center back and when I'm done sewing I'll just trim this little bit off and now I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew across on that same line and on this same line as well 
Okay, I have my straps sewn in the front on both across this top seam and across the second seam as well. And I've sewn the straps across the back as well. And now I can trim off this little back section on the back straps. I placed a safety pin on the end of my elastic. And this is going to fit best if your elastic is exactly the same measurement as the child's chest. So don't make it too tight. So from the inside, I'm going to get my elastic started. After I get the elastic started, I like to take this end and pin it so the elastic will stay straight while I'm passing it through the casing, like that. Okay, I went all the way through, and then when I got to this end, I pinned the two ends together. Now I can sew these together with a needle and thread. Stretch it from the two sides to disperse the gathers evenly. And that's how it looks from the back and from the front. Now I still have these scraps of fabric, so I'm going to make some little flowers. So I'm going to take a strip of fabric, fold it in half, and with a needle and thread, I'm just going to run a gathering stitch along the raw edge, like that, all along the raw edge. And now I can pull to gather that up, and I'm just going to form it into a little spiral. Make sure that raw end from the beginning is tucked through. Fold the corner down like that. And then just take some stitches on the back to keep it to keep it all together. Like that. And I had enough scraps to make three flowers. And I could sew these across the front like that. Or you could put a ribbon here on the front. And I moved two flowers up here on these straps. And I think I'll sew those on there. And there you go. There's a cute little pillowcase dress that you can make for children of all ages. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.